how to install oxygen os 10 port from the oneplus 70 pro on the xiaomi mi 90 pro or the redmi k20 pro hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install oxygen os port which is based on android 10 from the oneplus 70 pro on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro as you can see i do have the redmi k20 pro and we are running miui global stable version 12.0.0.9 on our device now what are the prerequisites for this video well you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have twerp recovery installed how do you do that i have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of the video next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues we will have to do a format data from twerp recovery in which case you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device first thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then we need to go into password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done you will go back scroll down go into me account and remove your me account and once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all these accounts and security measures we are doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device now what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and here are the files which you need so you need oxygen os Raphael vendor boot and system these are the three files which you need and then you also need disable force encryption if your device is not encrypted how do you find out whether your device is encrypted or not you go into settings and then you'll go back into password and security and if you go into privacy you will see that for me it says encryption and credentials phone is not encrypted this means i will have to flash disable force encryption if your device is encrypted then you do not have to flash disable force encryption next thing we need to do is boot into to a recovery for that the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo now once we have booted into twerp recovery first thing we'll do is go into wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once all the partitions have wiped successfully press on the home button next up we'll go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory the first file which we are going to flash is the oxygen os vendor then we will tap on add more zips select the oxygen os system tap on add more zips and then select the oxygen os boot once you have selected all the files swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully make sure you read the message it does say that if you are stuck at the boot logo perform a hard reboot now what is a hard reboot well while you're stuck at the boot logo all you need to do is press and hold the power button till your device reboots next up we'll tap on the home button and now if your device was not encrypted then we need to flash disable force encryption so i will go into install and select the disable force encryption file and then swipe to confirm flash once you have flashed disable force encryption make sure it is patching your f stab so as you can see i do have a file under patching f stabs which is in vendor slash etc and the file is f stab dot qcom so make sure you get this file over here in case you don't then you can tap on the home button go into mount make sure that vendor is mounted and then flash the file again if you do not get any file under patching f stabs that means disable force encryption was not installed correctly and you might run into issues next up all you need to do is tap on reboot and select system however if you run into any boot loops then you will have to boot back into twerp recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo 
then you will go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard do note that format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things for now we are going to skip that step and we'll just going to reboot and select system and bam there it is you can see that we have the oxygen os boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means our device is booting into oxygen os now the first boot up is going to take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and we are on the home screen of oxygen os we can now go into settings and if i go into about phone you can see that we are running oxygen os from the oneplus 7t pro the android version is android 10 and there it is peeps that is how you install oxygen os 10 from the oneplus 70 pro on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you